This is Stowborough Heath National Nature Reserve. Overlooking Heartland Moor, you can see Cove Castle in the distance. This reserve has many special reptiles and insects on it. It's got all the six natives reptiles and lots of rare insects. Heath grasshopper, the wart biter bush cricket, Dartford warblers, all the common heathland species. Dartford warblers again flashing in front of me. It's a superb reserve uh, of dry and wet heath with intertidal zones of uh, humid heath, wet heath and again Cove Castle in the distance. Great Knoll is to the left over here and that is Heartland Moor National Nature Reserve which is across the road. Two nature reserves together in a stunning setting. If we skew right, that's the Purbeck Hills and the Purbeck Ridge. We go up and round and you can see all around me is dry, humid and wet heath. I'm actually stood on a cairn here which Mike Tuck's son made. Mike Tuck was the reserve manager for over 20 years here. Is responsible for some great habitat management work along the Timber Road in James. He's still employed by Natural England. But as you can see all around, it's just a stunning vista of dry and wet heath into tidal zones with forestry all around. If we scan back round, I can hear a horse on Soldiers Road which is right in front of me. The road in front of me here where the gate is dissects the two nature reserves. This slew right is the Little Knoll. Keep going right is the Blueberry Farm. Norden where Norden steam train is and that is Creech Barrow in the middle. Overlooking behind the rest of Stover Heath, which is mainly dry heath. This is National Nature Reserve Stover Heath.